Today we're talking to Bebe on talent and we're going to go straight into our first question on talent and talent management. We come from a space where human, um, human resources is about um, fixing um, or even worse, administering a fix. Um, I think now we're process facilitators um, and the, the most important um, abilities that we need to have is the ability to empathize with the system, to empathize and say, I see what the system is going through and I recognize how um, um, I can play a catalytic role in that. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, you, I, I came into talent from, from commerce, Absolutely. so I, I don't think, um, I'm not going to then advocate and say go and do an HR degree, but I think you need to have some grounding. I really do. I think organizational development is a really good grounding. Mm -hmm. You know, just being able to understand how organizations work, understand yeah. theory of organizations. Yeah. Um, I think be curious, be inquisitive. I think position yourself as a consultant mm -hmm. internally, so getting some consulting skill um, um, is helpful. And a value-adding uh, consultant for that. Yes, of course not yeah. just um, and billing, but someone who's able to look at the system, not on the issue, mm. but, but uh, actually, and this is it, is um, be curious and probe. You know, keep asking, keep asking, keep asking and broaden your frame. You know, the more narrow your frame, the more you're likely to, um, 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 what's the word, affirm your own bias. Sure. But the wider your frame, um, the more you're able to engage with the system at multiple levels, the, the clearer whatever that means, the clearer you'll be of what the issues are. Um, so I think if um, to, to do talent management, well, you need to understand the basics. So you mm -hmm. need to understand how nine box grids work, how succession planning works. You need to understand the, the link between um, attracting the right people so that you don't have a problem to fix later mm -hmm. um, and, and developing people. I think you need to be courageous. Um, time yeah. and time again, I've, um, and it's something I've built over time because when you deal with talent management, you usually deal with very senior people and you need the courage to tell the CEO, actually, no, I'm sorry, this is procedurally unfair. Because if, the, if, if people experience the process as unfair, they'll disengage from it. So I, I think flexibility, curiosity, empathy, um, some strong grounding in theory. Um, 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 I think um, linking with a network of people who are themselves talent managers interested in, in talent yeah. and what talent is about because it's shifting and changing all the time. At some point, the whole focus of talent management was around the tools and the structure yeah. and around did we have um, an end-to-end -end talent management um, 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 system, which means actually a system that looks at um, an employee's life cycle, um, it looks at an employee's learning history and links that to sort of performance management. I mean, at some point that was all talent management was about. Um, so you need to know that. I mean, that's kind of the bread and butter. You need to be able to talk about that. But I think it's the behaviors, um, um, the change agent behaviors, the, the business advocate behaviors, the um, business partnering behaviors yeah. um, um, that, that probably make us better or worse talent managers. So I think one of the things I'm really passionate about, um, whether it's a talent space or any other space, is that we need a local discourse. Yeah. We, we, need, um, we need a local platform to talk about our lived experiences of the issues. Um, so there's, there's, there's probably um, um, a lot of stuff around talent management. I'm not aware that at this point in time, we have one that's um, at least talking South Africa. So I think it, it provides a great opportunity, a platform, if you like, for talent managers to interrogate and to talk about issues of, of talent. Um, undoubtedly, people will come from many different um, walks of life and many different theoretical grounding perspective, whatever. So there will be ro robust debate, I, I expect, um, but I think very useful. I also think that there's a lot of um, real life practice happening in some really big and really small um, South African, and I've, I've, I've had the opportunity to meet a few of them, South African companies, they're really doing fantastic work about making sense mm. of talent and really developing um, um, youth, developing leadership potential in a meaningful way. Right. Hopefully, this is a, 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 a platform for some of that to be celebrated sure. as well. Um, well, first of all, for us to know about it, um, those of us who might not know, um, to inquire mm. some more about it. So I see this as an interactive um, um, platform. 
The last thing for me is I've had the opportunity to engage with the LND, the Leadership and Development COP Community of Practice for South Africa. I, I probably haven't um, um, engaged with them as much or as often as I could, but I will say that the times that I have done that, um, I've had immense value from it. Mm -hmm. And I see talent, um, this platform doing the same talent talks because um, I had a really critical issue I needed to sort out when I was working in my old firm in the learning and development space. And I just needed people to think with me. Mm. You know, I needed thinking partners. Mm. And it was a quick thing around the COP. And I got really, I mean, for the price of some croissants and coffee, I got some of the people most passionate about skills development um, um, in, in South Africa come together, who understand it fundamentally. And they gave me a morning. And, and that's the kind of um, access that I got through the COP. And I see talent doing the same thing. Someone grappling with a very uh, pertinent, very real and very practical issue, being able to pull people together and, and having the opportunity of, of, of people to think with you through issues. So that's, that's, that's the hope that I have for this. Mm -hmm.